Hi everybody, the Mountain West Conference is celebrating its 25th season. One constant, San Diego State is pretty good, okay? Taking on Utah State tonight. Aztecs going for their seventh straight final appearance in the tournament, 10 of the last 11, but Utah State has shocked everybody this year. First year coach Danny Sprinkle has the Aggies as the top seed. At one point they led by 17 points did the Aggies, but into the first half, Darian Trammell at the buzzer to end the half. Did we see that last night against the Rebels? I think we did. He did the same thing against the Rebels. Aztecs go nuts in the second half. Uh, it's all over. Lamont Butler with a three right here. San Diego State takes the lead for good at this point of the game, and they know how to play some defense. Here they turn on the steal. They can get the fast break going. They can run the ball. How about this? Garbage under the basket, which they can do very well. Jaden Ladee, 22 points. He picks up that garbage. Aztecs by 13 at that point. They get the win, 86-70 over the number one seed in the tourney. So it will be San Diego State against New Mexico for the tournament title, 3 o'clock tomorrow, right here on 8 News Now. Yeah, the Rebels are out of the Mountain West tournament, of course, and will not be making the NCAAs this year. But there's a good shot. They could continue playing in the NIT tournament. The brackets I see have them matched up against this would be interesting. The University of Utah in the first round of the NIT. The Rebels knocked out in the opening round, but they finished the season with a rush. They won 10 of their last 13 games. There's DJ Thomas scoring 29 points last night in the loss to the Aztecs. Now, he should be in his senior season at Liberty High School, okay? He was the Mountain West Freshman of the Year. So the question, will DJ be back with the Rebels next season? I don't know. I'm definitely coming back next year. Yeah. As I got more games under my belt, I just kept getting more confident, more comfortable. So, I mean, that's just all my teammates and coaches. They kept trusting me and giving me confidence. We've just seen him get better every single game out. And, you know, he's, again, for somebody who should still be in high school, he's, he's, he's far ahead of where uh, most guys his age are. And, uh, and he's got a lot of exciting and good basketball still ahead of him. Meanwhile, the Lady Rebels are headed to the women's NCAA tournament. We will find out location and opponent on Sunday as well. Looking forward to a fun, busy, and lucky St. Patrick's Day on Sunday. So here's the Sunday rundown for you. Okay, at 3 o'clock, the big show, NCAA Tournament Selection Sunday will be right here on 8 News Now and CBS Sports. Then at 5 o'clock, we'll find out where the women are headed. And at 6.30, we'll see if the men get a bid to the 32-team field of the NIT Tournament. And right in the middle of all that madness, March Madness, <laughs> is the Lyuna Sports Wrap on Sunday beginning at 4 o'clock right here on 8 News Now. The Knights have a couple of days off before they play Sunday, taking on the New Jersey Devils there in town. In fact, the Knights have four games at home next week. Knights are coming off a loss at Calgary. Anthony Mantha with his first goal for the Knights. Gets one here, but that was all the scoring for Vegas on this evening. The Knights gave up four goals in the third period to the Calgary Flames. So the Flames go on to win it four to one. Calgary is one of those teams fighting for a shot at the Stanley Cup playoffs right now on the outside looking in. And former Raiders quarterback Jimmy Garoppolo has a new home. He's headed down to Los Angeles to play for the Rams, presumably to back up Matthew Stafford. The Raiders released him earlier this week. Also, some other news out of L.A. Defensive lineman Aaron Donald announced his retirement after 10 seasons in the NFL. He's only 32 years old, says he's done everything he needs to do in the league. Of course, won a Super Bowl a couple of years ago with yeah, the Rams. Yeah. And by the way, the Raiders play at the Rams this upcoming season. Oh, good. Okay. So, so they'll be able. So Jimmy Garoppolo will have a shot against his own team, but chance hope, to come back. Probably, probably backing up Stafford. He's not. <laughs> they don't want. Rams fans do not want to see Stafford get hurt and Garoppolo in the game. I'm guessing. All right. At least he landed someplace. He landed somewhere. Yes. yes. All right. We'll be right back.